All right, welcome to the Eskimo Empire podcast. It's episode 64 here in the Turf District. Oh, uh, wait, I just realized I didn't put the mic in. Hmm. There we go. Now I'm just emulating my team. Uh, <laughs> welcome to the Eskimo Empire podcast. It's episode 64. Uh, we are down in the Turf District as always and boy we got another big win to talk about which is exciting a three game winning streak uh there's something about mics we'll probably have to talk about and uh, of course we've got another great featured fan here tonight so let's start with the boys who is regularly here just hang on ut hey, hey how you doing lovely oh it's still kind of dark over there i don't know what the heck there we go a little there's a little more light bring you into the light that's lovely and of course to his immediate right super fan mike i'm lighting up already yeah <laughs> you're always I'm light for my close up, Mr. Duvel. excellent well <laughs> jazz hands come on everybody wants jazz hands yeah okay oh Chantel missed the joke at the beginning she said are your mics on yeah well i hadn't plugged it in but anyway now we're ready to go uh, guys, just uh, quickly, how was the week? How was uh, Thanksgiving? All those other fun things? Busy. Busy, yeah, yeah, well. We had 15 people over yesterday, so it was pretty busy. I bet, yeah. yeah. I'm so full, I had to stay upstairs in the family room and watch the game instead of going down in the dungeon, <laughs> otherwise I wouldn't have been able to make the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, awesome. uh, weekend for you there, Sir Mike. Anything exciting? Uh, no, not really. I'm uh, going to be uh, heading down to visit uh, my dad and my brother and their families nice. uh, next weekend. Awesome. My awesome. week, so it worked out pretty well for Work, me. Yeah, worked out great for us, uh, too. So we're yeah. going to do some sort of... <laughs> what, that I'm leaving? Oh, good. No, no. no <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I uh, didn't do a whole lot this weekend uh, other than watch some great football. Yes. Uh, some baseball. Bit yeah. Of, yeah. A bit of everything. A little bit of everything. Yeah, we might bit. actually might actually even talk baseball on the pod for once. We'll see how that there goes. There we go. Yeah, oh, exactly. you never know. <laughs> All <laughs> right. Joining us as well, our featured fan this evening, it is Wayne. How are you doing, Wayne? Hi. I thought there'd be oh, turkey here. More <laughs> jazz hands. That's Just fantastic. Us. The TSN crew had turkey, but there's no turkey. <laughs> Those don't know. Just we're, the two of us. We're not yeah. quite. Yeah. <laughs> we're, yeah, we're just a couple of turkeys. Yeah, they're sitting on the other side of the table, That's right? the only so reason I came was for the turkey. That's a well, see, I knew that was going to be it but uh, I, I just wanted to uh, a thank you for coming in last minute uh, we definitely appreciate that and um, yeah I see everyone the comments are all coming he's surrounded by turkeys so yeah. you, <laughs> you did there are turkeys here yeah don't worry um, now I understand you you brought a helmet with you and it has a story with it so uh, let's let's show everyone that and uh, we'll, we'll and tell us the story about how uh, how you got that and well it's uh a big time Eskimo fans will remember and know about the Jason Tucker cir circus catch. Of course. It was in the north uh, east northwest corner of the end zone against the Stampeders and Tucker yep. went up for the touchdown. Absolutely. And snagged the ball and I managed to snag the helmet at the dressing room sale. Nice, and nice, that. lovely. So have you ever put it on? Yes, I've had it on. <laughs> nice. It doesn't fit so well. I've got a big head. <laughs> <laughs> and who all do you have uh, autographs on there from? Well, I just have Jason Tucker and okay. Hugh Campbell. I had I had more, but I didn't want to mar it with players I wouldn't know in 10 years. So That's, that's I, a good I, point. I, yeah, I had yeah. it wiped off. All right. Well, hey, you got the main one. Let's see that Tucker one there. So that, uh, that's Hugh Campbell, oh. Ed Hervey, yeah. and there it is. Jason Tucker, boy, man, would I love to have that guy on the pod one day. Don't let me that forget is, it here. I, well, I'll try to remember to no tell promises. you. Yeah, it's like no problem. Look good right on top of the fridge. <laughs> what? Yeah, 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 wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. The turf district got a fridge. Hey. Yay! Yay! Woohoo! No running now down the all, hall for a cold. That's one. right. We're all good to go. Now we br we did get some uh, questions from fans. Uh, let Let's start just really briefly because I know a lot of people are tuning in just to just to see kind of where where we were at on the main part of the um, the mic gate, I guess, if we want to call it. I hate gate things. Anyway, yeah. the whole mic thing that happened at the game today. Or didn't. Or didn't happen, as the case might be. Um, yeah, Wayne, give me give me your opinion on that with uh, the team uh, deciding to, to not wear the mics at the uh, beginning of the game. Well, my opinion is if they hadn't said that they would, 
uh, I don't think I don't think it's a big deal anyway. But the problem, in my opinion, is they said they would do it and then they relented at the last minute. And I have a little bit of an issue with that. Yeah. I yeah. expect that the league will fine them five thousand dollars or something. I don't know. Fi some type of fine or something yeah. along those lines. Yeah. Super fan, your your take on that? Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, if we said we were going to do it, we should have done it. Mm -hmm. The fact that we didn't do it means that there have to be repercussions. I know a lot of teams probably would have liked the option of not doing it themselves. Yeah. Um, I don't think there was really necessarily an option for us to say no, but we did anyway. Yeah. Uh, that was their decision because they focus first on the team yep. and the season, and so that's their reasoning, but there have to be repercussions. If they said they were going to, TSN promoted it. Yeah. And uh, then they kind of look silly. So yeah, uh, and we just had a comment there. What does the contract say? And that's the thing we don't know. Right? No there's, there hasn't been any in clear indication on what the contract. I said, don't know so. if the teams signed the contract. The league signed it on behalf of the teams, etc. Yeah, so. exactly. Oh wait, <laughs> I like this. John just put consequences. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Ut, your your thoughts. I know you got into a couple of conversations there today. Yeah, we had so. a good one on yeah. Twitter, Josh and I. Anyway. Um, like uh, you guys said, I don't see anything written. Uh, nobody said anything. TSN didn't even come on and say they must. It's mandatory. So guess what? Uh, if it's not written anywhere and they decide at the last minute that's their business, uh, I don't see any problem with it at all. There well, shouldn't sure. be any. Some TSN people did come online on Twitter. Yes. Uh, one of the live producers did come on and he started slagging the Eskimos, saying that Jason Moss and... Mike Riley obviously don't care about the league, huh. which I think is that's yeah. a little bit too much that's slander. Way there. over, that's, yeah. that's, that's, a, that's a little overboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. I think it's totally. like we tell the players they shouldn't go on Twitter after a loss, or you know, go 24 hours before posting things. Mm -hmm. The same should be said for the um, other people as well that are involved with TSN. Mm -hmm. You can't. A lot of people I've noticed have said that you know, the heck with TSN or you know, words to that effect. But without TSN, we don't have the league we have right now. They put a lot of money into this league, mm -hmm. and uh, I love them for that. Absolutely, that's, that's yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. If, if they believe that this is know. something that they really want to do, I think that team said written. that they should have. Well, it may have been. We don't. Yeah. Know. yeah, and it may have been. I yeah. think that's. I think that's the big cue is that. We don't know exactly what the deal was right. going into it, which makes it a little bit harder, right? But I I tend to agree with you though, Wayne. If they said they were going to do it and they promote it. Uh, being in PR myself, yeah. uh, that would really drive me crazy if I said, okay, like... Peace you, River? What's this? Peace River? Peace River, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, if you said you're going to do it, let's do it. But on the other hand, I mean, if they were given the option to say no and that was part of the contract, then no okay, well cool. then then they sort it out. On the one thing is, you know, we're not practicing with injured players. We're not, you know, uh, it, it's... It's Not still something that should should be important for the league. I, I totally yeah. agree with that, mm. and I want to go along with what the CFL has. But you yeah. know, I I still think they should have done it, and I think they're going to get spanked if, for it. But I think they deserve that. If so. it was written somewhere in a contract that everybody signed, and if it's right there telling the, that that is mandatory, you have to do it. I'll agree with that. But if nothing is there. Then to act with it, let's not make such a big issue out of it. I but, totally you know, agree with you, UT. Yeah. Totally agree. Maybe we'll find out this week exactly yeah. what their obligation yeah. was. Yes, and exactly. I think so, yeah. yeah, if it was written because in a contract. there's nothing worse than the media blowing things out of con out of control, yeah. and everybody yeah. takes it too seriously. Yeah, it's a, it's a mic. Who cares? <laughs> Already have one here. <laughs> you know, Wait, I like this I mic. Like mic. I like yeah. this mic. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's a. He doesn't like to talk in a mic, so no big deal. Yeah. No foul. No gain. I know no a lot foul. of people would say that if this was, say, Saskatchewan doing this, we might see a lot more Eskimo fans blowing up over it, and that's probably true. Maybe. But there um, again, that's where But the I still don't think it would be as big of a deal. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the first time I thought was really interesting, but by the time we got to the first game this week, it was pretty much over. It was like, okay, yeah. well, whatever. It was there, right? Yeah. So. All right, well, uh, cheers to that, boys. There we go. Yeah, that was well done. All in for that. Yay. Yay. Good con. It's cold gin time again. Okay. Yeah. All right, uh, next question that we got here uh, was from Daryl, and that was, what's the biggest change in the game in the last 25 years? Now, he said coaching. Uh, what do you think is the biggest change for, or do you want me to come back to you, or do you want to go first, Wayne? Come back. 
Okay, I'll come back. UT, biggest I think, change. I think it's the speed. Oh, speed's huge, yeah, yeah absolutely. The speed is the biggest change in, that I've seen. Uh, the game is faster, quicker, the players are younger, stronger. Uh, that's that's just been an eye-opener for me. Okay, yeah. good good answer. Uh, Mike, I'll get there in a second. Um, I think that the training has changed so much mm -hmm. uh, than it was, say, in 1991, where mm -hmm. now you've got all they do is train year round. <laughs> Sorry, coach just said players are on speed. No, 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 not. No, no, speed we're going to talk about a guy getting, yeah, speed dial. I wish. <laughs> and, anyway, yeah, go ahead. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think that's changed. And defenses have gotten way more complex now than they were 25 years ago. Yeah. Well. Absolutely. All right, Wayne. What would you say? Well, similar to UT, I think it's the caliber of the players. If you look at all sports, like if you look at NHL hockey, for example, when, when Gretzky was scoring 212 points in a season, mm -hmm. uh, he was doing so against goalies who were inferior to what they are today. Yeah. I think the same thing applies to the CFL. The players are very, very good. And I th to me, I think that's a great thing because it, it really improves the on-field product for us, yeah. the fans. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And I would actually, uh, I, I was, I was thinking about this, and I could see, yeah, the coaching and and this, like you said, the speed, the difference. I honestly think that the playbooks have just gotten thicker. Mm -hmm. I think there's more and more and more plays that they're trying to find to use in the league now, and we're seeing more different types of plays. And uh, so I think that's one of the biggest changes I've, I've noticed. Anyway, that's just my uh, two cents. All right, let's skip to our next one here. Um, now this will be interesting. So Ferlin asks uh, thoughts on Kenzel Doe getting taken off the active <laughs> roster. Now maybe I didn't say oh. that right. Kenzel Doe <laughs> put off the uh, get off the active uh, roster. Um, uh, I'm just going to quickly chime in on this and say I I don't know that it made that big a difference <laughs> to be terribly honest, but. Um, I mean, we had to try something to switch it up. So, uh, Mike, I'll start with you this time. I think the game was actually closer than um, if Doe was in there, it would have been a bigger blowout for us, I think. Okay. They got their first points on a turnover when Correct. Stoudemire drops the ball inside of our 10. Which is... Doe what, only dropped the ball once, and we recovered that ball when he did drop it. Yeah. Uh, and that was his his thing. He was very safe with the ball, and people complained. Yeah. Yeah. We don't want someone safe. You can just grab the ball, fall down. Well, see what happens when you don't. Yeah. Um, before that, Stoudemire did have a good run back. It wasn't even really mentioned on the on the broadcast. Yeah, he did have um, one. Yeah. But then before the one before that, the first one he did was next to nothing. Yeah. And later on, he did stuff that I know UT was yelling at his TV, <laughs> the dancing back and forth. <laughs> He had a good 20 yards between him and the players. He went left, he went right, right. he stuttered, yeah. Yeah, then he go. went forward, and then he moved left again, and it was done. Mm -hmm. So it's unfortunate that way. All right. You, you know, you, well, you he had a, listen, this was his first kind of stage. He yeah. had a stage fright. fright. Mm -hmm. And um, when he was in practice doing some, some returns, he did some really good ones. I, I witnessed it. Mm -hmm. um, as far as do mm -hmm. goes... Uh, he did some nice catches as a as a wide receiver. Mm -hmm. Now, whether or not uh, that's going to happen just for practice or not, I don't know. But what I saw uh, today was growing pains. I think he uh, he'll get the hang of it a little quicker now. Rather okay. the growing pains versus Montreal than say Calgary. Ca you got yeah, that right, Mike. Exactly. Yep. I, agree. Exactly. I, agree. I agree with you there. All right, Wayne, what did you think of that change there? With well, I think it was about four or five games too late. I don't like <laughs> I don't like Doe. Um, Mike makes a good point that uh, he only had one fumble in all of the games he's played, in, and it wasn't yeah. material to the outcome of the game. Yeah. And Stoudemire's was, but I'm willing to forgive him that error because I think the sun got in his eyes. Yeah, for it did. Yeah, because the Montreal guy did the same thing yeah. the next time around. And, it didn't, didn't turn over. And I think yeah. he's going to be a better kick returner. I don't know how he can not be any better because I think Dole was totally useless. <laughs> I don't know why we don't, whoever coined the name Pinbell, which one of you clever guys did that? that? That's a great, there, yeah. that's a great nickname. And I don't know, I, personally, I would, I would throw him in. And if you're going to, if you want to have him as potentially a, a running back anyway, why not have him ki returning kicks? I don't know if he's ever done that. I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah, I think that's the issue. I don't know about the ca the catching. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, but well, well, try why it. not try yeah, him? Try why not try him it. in yeah. practice they and see how he does? Might be worried about uh, getting hurt, though. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. There, and that could be a problem. Mm -hmm. I mean, the other thing is that we do have Brandon Zilstra that has returned yeah. kicks before. So, yeah. 
I was curious with that. But anyway, I, I mean, obviously he's illustrated I, a big I, game today too. So, but, but if you look at what Calgary did today, their kick returner and, and BC Lions too. Yeah. Both of those kick returners are really good. And the Lions guy, oh, yeah. he was finding seams. Oh, he was so fast. turning nothing into something. Mm -hmm. And I don't know why we can't find a, a returner of that caliber. Well, I think part of it though, uh, you guys tell me what you think of this though, is yeah. it, the blocking. I, don't, right. I think our yeah. blocking is not... The you same stick as Chris Reedy or yeah. Finch. Yeah. We don't have we yeah. our blocking. We don't like build a, a wall. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> yeah. Our wall isn't there, and when it is, it crumbles right away. Just get the yeah. Mexicans to pay for one. <laughs> <laughs> Just say <laughs> That's a great note that we're going to go straight <laughs> back over this. All right, let's do our uh, let's do our Empire Points update. Uh, thank you for the questions, you guys. Really appreciate it. Um, so our leader right now is Leanne. Um, Let's see. Uh, oh, Esk completely dominated the Owls. Oh, that's from Capper from the Montreal uh, flight deck. Hey, oh, thanks, Capper. Nice. Uh, yeah, it was uh, it was one of those types of games for sure. Um, so yeah, Empire points. Leanne is in first. Papa Duck has moved up into second. Woo! Coach Vic has moved up into third. Jedi Chantel is in fourth, and Joe Pritchard in fifth. So lots of movement, and two no Calgary, Calgary guys either. disappeared off that list. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> yeah. Tony, you've got your work cut out for you. Yeah. Uh, congrats to Cappy D, who is still in first in the Pick'em Pool. Uh, there's a couple that are really, really coming up. We've had a couple of shuffles in the top five there. We will have the update on that on the podcast, and of course the CFL Pod League as well, where we took a tough loss to BC Lions Den on the last oh. day, but oh well, it was close. Uh, so the show is out on Wednesday. We're going to, uh, of course, recap the enormous win um, over Montreal. Uh, another Eskimo history segment. We're going to have, uh, we're going to review all, all the last week's games. Of course, have the uh, UT game of the week. And we'll put in our picks for this week. And there's no preview this week because we're finally on a bye. It only yep. took uh, 14 <laughs> games for us to finally get a bye week. Ooh. So we have the bye this week. And uh, so hopefully uh, we will be joining back in next month. Monday. Uh, we're hoping to be joined by an Eskimo alumni for next week's show because we won't have a game review to do. So it's a good time to get a little bit of a longer uh, in interview. Thanks. I have my brain just, I just had a UT moment. <laughs> if we insert computer reset sound here. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, appreciate that. Uh, remember to find us on the uh, YouTube channel, and these will be posted up on the YouTube channel within the next 24 hours or so. Find us on Twitter at Esk Empire Pod. Find us on Facebook under facebook.com slash Esk Empire Pod. Join in the conversation. It's going to be a great week, a nice week to relax, and then we're back at it next week on a three-game winning streak. We will absolutely talk to you on Wednesday.